These grade 9 students at Burt Bowes Middle School have been presented a scenario they've been asked to solve as part of a hands-on learning program presented by the national organization Let's Talk Science. The thing is that a bridge or something broke and we have to get it across, for, across the river, but you can't touch the river and you can't throw the object over it. So right now we're making like a crane type thing to get it over. Working in groups, students use the materials they were provided to come up with a solution to move an object from one end of their table to the other, avoiding the river in the middle that is represented with pieces of masking tape. It shows like kind of like a different side of science that you wouldn't actually see in the classroom, which is like a lot more fun because what we do in class isn't necessarily what you would be doing. And I think it's a lot more fun than being in class looking at the textbook. Like you get to learn how it actually works and problem solve. But the students weren't alone. Today they were joined by local experts who donated their time to connect with the youth. They can learn a little bit about the community expert at their table. Maybe their path was very straightforward and direct, or maybe their path meandered a little bit, which happens more than we realize. Uh, and we tried to get experts in the community that weren't just engineers. We have engineers in the room for sure. We have Shell representing, but we also have a banker and we have a photographer. We have a land surveyor. We're trying to show that STEM is actually really, really widely ap applicable across a bunch of different career paths. It's cool to like learn about like jobs that they do like in the future if you want to like figure out what you want to do and like get their like opinion on things and like their more experience with it and stuff. Then you like get an idea of what they do so if you want to do something in that field you know what you're getting into and it's kind of also a way to like figure out what you want to do when you're older. The event was designed to encourage students to explore career opportunities in science, technology, engineering and math and hopefully open doors for them in the future. And it's really trying to get people to think outside the box about science, tech, engineering and math careers and the skills that are associated. So people think of scientists and they think I'm uh, wearing a white lab coat and I'm running experiments, but really STEM issues are going to be a major kind of challenge of our time and we're going to need youth who can tackle those challenges and work together to problem solve. So this is just a tiny little example of trying to help them develop those skills, working together, taking an issue, brainstorming, engineering, failing maybe every once in a while, and then ultimately coming up with something that works. The Let's Talk Science team also made a stop in Moberly Lake earlier this week. They hope with ongoing support from local businesses, they will be able to continue to inspire youth to follow their dreams in the science and technology fields. Brendan Miller, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.